Hi all. Welcome to English with Steve UK. Now today we're going to talk about advanced English vocabulary. Now, do you ever procrastinate? Or maybe you prevaricate? You prognosticate? Has anyone paid you a compliment today? Your shoes complement the rest of your outfit, the rest of what you're wearing. Have you ever received a complimentary gift or meal in a hotel? Are you amused, bemused, or simply confused? What we're going to look at are commonly misused and confused words. Okay, before we go on, can I suggest that you subscribe to my channel, please? And if you've enjoyed the video, if it's been useful, then hit the like button too. And feel free to leave any comments. By subscribing, you'll be able to see the follow-up videos which I'll be doing in this series too. Okay, let's make a start. Acute, chronic and astute. Acute. Very serious or severe. Chronic. Used to refer to an illness or problem that is severe, lasting for a long time and difficult to cure or solve. Astute, clever and able to judge a situation quickly and take advantage of it. This poor lady has an acute headache. Perhaps it's a migraine. This man has made astute decisions and has risen to the top of his company. These people are experiencing a severe water shortage, a chronic water shortage. There's been no rain for months. Adverse and averse. Adverse is to have a negative or harmful effect on something. Averse strongly dislike or be opposed to. These climbers face adverse weather conditions. This young girl is averse to doing her homework. She really doesn't like it. This man isn't averse to gambling. He enjoys it. Aesthetic and ascetic. Aesthetic is used to talk about beauty or art and people's appreciation of beautiful things. Ascetic is characterized by severe self-discipline and abstention from all forms of indulgence, typically for religious reasons. This image has aesthetic appeal. People find it beautiful. This man leads an ascetic life without worldly goods and pleasures. Effect and effect. Effect is a verb to have an influence on someone or something, or to cause a change. Effect 
is usually a noun, the result of a particular influence. Effect occasionally can be a verb. In one particular situation, it can be used to mean to accomplish something or to cause something to happen. Sadly, this man's heavy drinking and bad behaviour is badly affecting his wife and daughter. The effect of a good night's sleep are that you wake up feeling refreshed. The heavy rain has effected a good harvest. Allusion and illusion. Allusion. An expression designed to call something to mind without mentioning it explicitly, an indirect or passing reference. Illusion. An idea or belief about something that is not true. Something that is not really what it seems to be. This woman is upset and nervous because she feels that the men behind her have made an illusion about her brief affair with one of them. This boy is under the illusion that the girl is in love with him. And here is an optical illusion. It's not what it seems. Amused and bemused. Amused. If you're amused by something, it makes you want to laugh or smile. Bemused. If you are bemused, you're puzzled or confused. This lady is highly amused by something. Hmm. And this lady is bemused. She doesn't understand what's going on. Ascent and ascent. Ascent, the act of climbing or moving upwards. Ascent, an expression of approval or agreement. This aeroplane is making a steep ascent. This man has had a, a rapid ascent to become chief executive. This guy gives his assent to the deal. He agrees to it. Assure, ensure and insure. Assure. To tell someone confidently that something is true, especially so that they don't worry. Ensure. To make something certain to happen. Ensure. To arrange for compensation in the event of damage to or loss of property or injury to or the death of someone. This workman, this engineer, assures the lady that her washing machine won't break down again. 
she's happy. This man ensures that his child is securely strapped in the car. This woman has had an accident and she's thankful that her car is insured. Barter, banter and haggle. To barter is to exchange goods for other things rather than for money. To banter, banter is teasing or joking talk that is amusing and friendly. To haggle is to argue about something before reaching an agreement, especially about the cost of something that you're buying. To barter, to exchange, to trade, for instance it could be cotton or whiskey. To banter is to exchange playful conversation. We British banter a lot. To haggle. Here this lady is arguing about the prize. She wants a bargain. That's all for part one. Thanks for watching. If you'd like to have Zoom lessons with me, then find me at EnglishWithSteveUK.com Why not join our Facebook group, English Language C1 Advanced and C2 Proficiency? And of course, remember to subscribe then you can see future parts of the video. Confusing words. Bye for now.